Elephants are long ranging animals and are not limited to a particular stretch of forests. When the pathways or migratory routes of the elephants are obstructed due to anthropogenic causes, their movement is restricted and they often come in contact with humans which results in negative interactions. So in a some human elephant conflict uh, for the last, I must say, the last 30 years, since the 70s, it has become a huge problem. It not remains as a conflict, it has almost turned into a crisis now. Because as you can see, every year we are losing elephants on an average 50 to 60 elephants each year. And same number of people are more, more than that number. I think it's the number is like 100 people every year. is being killed by wild elephants in the state alone and where is oh, this problem is happening this problem is basically a when it was in the nine, uh, 1970s it was basically in the sunitpur district or in golaghat district but now uh, in the state we can find almost more than 20 districts they are bearing this brand so uh, elephants uh, those districts um, that that has uh, interstate connectivity and basically connectivity with hills and plains. Uh, the problem is more in those areas because as I have earlier said that elephants are long ranging animals and from Burma to Bhutan they have a long migrating road. So once uh, they come down from the hills to the plains and they find their, uh, their refuses, their shelters are gone and they become irritated. Moreover, it is not only the food in the forest that is decreasing, uh, the number of like uh, what I will say the water holes in the forest, then uh, the increased activity of people inside the forest, these are other also drivers uh, taking uh, casualty on both sides, uh, driver of the conflict that is taking casualty on both sides. Last year, the Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate, Bhupendra Yadav, told the Rajya Sabha that human-elephant conflict caused 1,401 humans and 301 elephant deaths in India from 2018 to 2020. The conflict mainly happened due to fragmentation of habitats, habitat loss, change in cropping pattern, etc. In such a scenario, experts suggest that one of the most effective ways to reduce the conflict would be to restore and protect forest areas and the migration corridors elephants travel through. When we studied the problem in Golaghat district or in Sunitpur or in Udalguri, I found that the conflict is happening basically where the tea plantation has been growing, the, the number of tea areas have been increasing. So in uh, when the tea areas, the number of plantation, it is increasing, this is actually eating into our forest land. So we have to put a restriction, how much this tea planting, uh, plantation areas should um, uh, go, For what will be the limit? The government must find a solution to this. Uh, this is one thing. and. Uh, as you all know that in Assam we have more than 300 reserve forests. But what is the status of this reserve forest? Basically they are in paper only because um, most of the uh, areas uh, they are like um, they are being now turned into degraded forest areas and the government is taking the forest department they are taking measures to like uh, re replenish these areas again with uh, different um, different trees, like you know, different plantation schemes. But what is happening in the process? We are not planting those uh, those vegetation that is very necessary for elephants to survive. We are going for commercial plantation. But um, elephants they need their fodder uh, because most of the in in most of the forest areas we find now teak, and now there is another um, uh, thing this sassy. Uh, so it, it has come up. So if we go for commercial plantation only, 
how the animals like the elephants they are going to survive this is my question so for long term conservation goals we need to basically think on these lines and until we can until and unless we um, can secure our forest i think the solution is not in sight